And that's how Angus overcame adversity and he defeated his bully's comments and he held his homecoming crown high. The end. Ah, oh, yes. So good. It's, it's a great story, isn't it, guys? Yeah, if you like stories about losers. <laughs> you know, what kind of name is Angus? Anyway, beef. <laughs> What's that, Clay? Nothing, Teach. Look, it's just like no dingus would ever get nominated Homecoming King, okay? This isn't a world run by dinguses. It's a world run by the cool people. It's just unbelievable. That's not true, Clay. Take, for example, the case in Michigan. A girl at her high school was constantly bullied by her peers, and as a sick joke, they voted for her for homecoming queen. And she won, all because these kids wanted to prank her out of their own amusement. But as soon as the community heard about this, businesses came together and they paid for her hairstylist, they paid for her dress, for her dinner, because they realized that bullying shouldn't be tolerated. And we see it everywhere. But do we actually see it? Does this make any sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I get it now. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 I get it, Mr. Slenderman. This text can be used to be applied to worldwide events. But although it's not exactly the same, I can use this situation to enhance my everyday reading of Chris Crutcher's athletic shorts. That's just one small event, Teach, out of like a million events. What else you got? Well, Clay, think about this. And take a second. You, you know what? Let's all take a second. Close your eyes. I want you guys to picture yourselves at our own high school, Diversity High. And you're walking down the hallway, and up front to your right, you see a student shoving another student's books on the floor. Believe it or not, this is a case of bullying, and it might seem small, but to that student whose books were shoved on the floor, his day, his week, his month is ruined because that's something that constantly happens to him. And that's just our high school. And there are thousands upon thousands of high schools in this country where boys and girls are being bullied every day. So Clay, you're wrong. It's not just one event. It's more events than we could ever possibly count. Now, can any of you relate at all to Angus's character? What about you, Clay? No. I don't identify with Angus. I identify with the bullies. I am a bully. God! I'm so sorry. It's okay, brother. What have I become? Good. Clay, do you know what you've just done? What? You've identified with a, a character. Therefore, you've become an active reader. That's what I've been trying to preach all semester long. I'm proud of you, Clay. So you're telling me that even though I'm just a 14 slash 15 year old kid, if I apply this text to the world, my life, and other texts, I'll get more out of the reading, specifically Chris Crutcher's athletic shorts?
Chris Crutcher, author of Athletic Shorts, six short stories that can relate to you. Come on, Teach! <laughs> Coming. <laughs>